So my name is Jasmine Fulmer. I'm the program manager at Encircle. I've been the program manager for about a year now. Um, I've been involved with Encircle since it was kind of an idea um, because one of my best friends actually helped kind of found it. Um, he's the COO of Encircle. So our main goal is to um, embrace and sustain every youth in, in every family and every community. Um, you know, we have such a high suicide rate in Utah. Um, and it, you know, LGBTQ plus folks are more likely, like four times more likely to report um, a suicide attempt. And it's just not acceptable. The main thing is no sides, only love. We're not gonna tell the youth how to live their life. We're not going to tell them what to believe in or anything like that. Um, we just want them to know that whatever they decide to do with their life, they're loved and um, and that however they make it happen, you know, their life is worth living. So with our friendship circles, it's various groups for different age ranges, sexual orientations and gender identities. And it's, um, it's not necessarily a support group, because that can have a negative connotation, um, but it is a group of people who are going through similar life experiences um, to get rid of that loneliness and that isolation that, that can come with being LGBTQ plus in Utah. You know, sometimes it's, it's a very heavy topic that they talk about. Sometimes they have pancake parties. You know, it's whatever the group needs. Um, and we always have trained facilitators in there as well. Evening programming, every night is a different thing. So Monday nights we do service projects. Tuesday nights we have Tools to Thrive, which is like a round table discussion on different topics. Um, Wednesday night is art night. Thursday night is music night, and then Friday afternoon we have a writing group, which is like a free space to, um, you know, write their truth and share it if they'd like, or just keep it to themselves, whatever, whatever they need to do. We teamed up with Flourish Counseling Services and offer subsidized therapy. So about 25% of the therapy that we do here is uh, either couples or family therapy, and then um, and all of it is subsidized. So the first appointment is always free. Then it's $15, $35, and caps at $75, which is kind of unheard of, because that's without insurance. And then, you know, some people have insurance, or if folks can't afford that, um, we basically use Encircle funds and just pay for all of their therapy, and they're able to see a therapist for free. Um, all of our therapists are just brilliant people, and, um, and they, you know, they're not going, they, again, they don't have agendas except for the youth to live healthy and whole lives, um, which is important. Um, and, you know, there's never, never any conversion therapy or anything like that. Um, it's just helping folks, you know, figure out how to navigate life. As the program manager, I'm basically like the house mom. And so I'm the one that opens it up for the day. I'm the one that closes it down. At night, um, some of my days are just like normal, making cookies, like cleaning the bathrooms, you know, stuff like that. Um, and other days, I'm in the ER until 3 a.m. with the suicidal youth. Um, so my mission, I guess, would be to make sure that the, no the youth know that they are valued and loved exactly as they are. They don't need to change anything about them because the way they are is 100% valid. Um, and I think a lot of the voices around them are telling them that something's wrong with them or their identity or orientation isn't you know, valid or, or real in some ways. Um, and my job is to just let them know that that's not true and, and that they're loved. Like as they're leaving and stuff like that, I'll tell them, Wear your seatbelt, don't get arrested, be safe, I love you. And those are like my four basic rules, you know, I guess you could say. You know, our job in this world is not to judge other people. Um, it's not to look down on other people. It's just to love everybody. Um, you don't have to agree. You don't even have to understand. Um, but as long as you are offering genuine friendship and things like that and not letting the it's it's just not it's it's not something that needs to be 
used against people, I guess you could say. And so be patient, you know, and for the individual that's maybe struggling with other people struggling, you know, be patient with each other, be kind, um, but just know that no matter who people are, they're no less worthy of love or acceptance or anything like that.